But first, breaking news on the murder trial of a reputed former mob boss. A jury has found Francis Cadillac, Frank Salemi, and his co-defendant Paul Wiedig guilty of the 1993 murder of nightclub owner Stephen DeSaro. Jurors announced their verdict after deliberating for more than 20 hours over the past few days. Target 12 investigator Tim White has been at federal court in Boston since the trial began. He joins us now live with those breaking details. Tim? Mike Shannon, those 20 hours of deliberations included reviewing hundreds of pages of transcripts and ultimately the jury deciding Frank Salemi and Paul Wiedek took part in the gangland slaying of Stephen DeSaro. Now, prosecutors argued Salemi and his late son killed DeSaro because they were concerned he was going to cooperate with the FBI. Testifying in the trial against Salemi were mob brothers Robert and Joseph DeLuca, the jury of 10 women and six men, including four alternates who didn't deliberate ultimately decided the DeLucas or some of the 32 other witnesses were credible. Salemi's defense attorney Stephen Buzang tells me they will appeal. I think the DeLucas speak for themselves. I'm not gonna cut everybody to shreds. I think everybody saw what they're capable of. Uh, hopefully they don't get a shake and, and uh, Bobby DeLuca uh, stays in jail where he belongs. I'm confident that uh, Fleming will stay in jail where he absolutely belongs and uh, Joe DeLuca can go uh, mushroom hunting. Now, what Stephen Buzang meant there is Bobby DeLuca will be sentenced late this summer after pleading guilty to perjury for initially lying to investigators about what he knew of the case. Salemi and Wiedek will be sentenced on September 13th. The U.S. Attorney's Office says they face a mandatory life behind bars. Now, coming up, new at 6 o'clock, we're going to hear from prosecutors who worked for years on this case. Live in Boston with the Target 12 investigators, Tim White, Eyewitness News. More breaking news now, a verdict in a high-profile mob murder trial. As we first reported live at 5, a jury found notorious former mob boss Francis Cadillac Frank Salemi and his co-defendant guilty today in the killing of nightclub owner Stephen DeSaro. DeSaro's body was found buried behind a Providence Mill building in 2016, more than two decades after his death, and emotions ran high in the courtroom as the verdict was read. Target 12 investigator Tim White has been tracking Salemi's trial every step of the way. Tim joins us now live at federal court in Boston with the breaking details. Tim. Mike Shannon, Frank Salemi, who's 84, and Paul Wiedek, who's 62 years old, showed no emotion as the verdict was read. But in the courtroom, family members of Stephen DeSaro, who have been here every day of this trial, wept as this 25-year-old case finally came to a close. Former Mafia Don Francis Cadillac Frank Salemi and co-defendant Paul Wiedek guilty of the charge, murder of a witness. A jury at Boston's federal court deciding they took part in the 1993 gangland slaying of Boston nightclub owner and Providence native Stephen DeSaro. However gruesome the details presented during the trial have been, it's those details that have provided exactly the closure we were looking for. Massachusetts U.S. Attorney Andrew Lelling reading a statement from the DeSaro family after the verdict. And now with the verdict of guilty, we have justice for Mr. DeSaro, our loving father, brother, uncle, and husband. Prosecutors argued Salemi and his late son, Frank Jr., killed DeSaro because they were concerned DeSaro was going to cooperate with the FBI. Rhode Island mob brothers Robert and Joseph DeLuca testified they helped dispose of the body, also taking the stand, notorious Boston gangster Stephen the Rifleman Flemmy. Salemi's defense attorney, Stephen Buzang, says they will appeal. Frank's an older guy. He's uh, going to be 85 next month, so um, so he's certainly disappointed. Uh, but for him, he, you know, he was hopeful and optimistic. Um, knows that Fleming is an absolute liar. Um, but um, you know, there was a, there were a tough set of facts, and we thought we had overcome them, but uh, but didn't. If that appeal fails, Salemi and Wiedek face a mandatory punishment of life behind bars. They will be sentenced on September 13th. Live in Boston with the Target 12 investigators, Tim White, Eyewitness News.